Hello everyone and welcome to a new lecture series on vector algebra. Now in this particular lecture, we will try to understand what is vector and some different types of vectors. Now in general what happens in physics or in some geometry or in some engineering problem, we see that to uh, define some physical quantity, we use some uh, measurements like measurements of what? Suppose mass, how to define those measurements of a mass of a body, then charge of an electron, a specific heat like this, or if you want to find the length, okay, length, area or volume of some uh, particular cube or circle like this, then what to do? We have to measure all these things with the suitable units of measure. Okay, so these particular quantities can be described by a single number. So this is very important by a single number okay so if we want to define the length that was 5 centimeter or 15 centimeter 10 kilometer so we can define all this number by a single number mass okay mass of a body 1 kg 2 kg or some grams so like this whenever we define some quantity by a single single number then those are called what scalars okay so before you understand what is vector, so this particular quantity scalar is very much important. So some other scalars like already I told what temp length, length of something, then temperature, time, density, frequency, these are all comes under what examples of scalar quantities. So we can define mm, a scalar quantity like this, a physical quantity is called a scalar if it is completely specified by what single number okay with suitable pro me what measurement so only number cannot justify because if i write five so what does it mean by five it is length or temperature or time so we have to write them what unit also but basically whenever a physical quantity has only single number then that particular number defines what a scalar quantity now then what is vector so on the other hand when some physical quantities like see velocity so what is velocity acceleration displacement momentum force so we cannot define all these things with a single number when we say the a, a particle is moving so two things come if it is moving how much displacement it will make and what is the direction force along which direction we use the force, momentum, along which direction it will dis displace, okay? Electric field in intensity, which direction? So in each and everything, one more new term is coming, which is called direction, right? So with a specific single number, we also need a direction. So whenever we need magnitude as well as direction, then that particular quantity is what? Vector. So what is the basic difference between scalar and vector? In scalar, we can uh, define a physical quantity by a single number, but in case of vector, we need direction also. Okay, so direction, what as well as what magnitude. So both we need. So I'll give you one example, then you'll understand. So quantities which are specified by magnitude and direction is called a vector quantity. So, is it clear what is the basic difference between scalar and vector? Now, let us take an example. Suppose a particle is started at A and it will go at B. So, only this is given. Okay, what is the, from A to B, what is the distance? So, if you only need the distance A to B, suppose length, what is the length? Then length is suppose 5 centimeters. So, if we talk about the only distance or less or length, then it defines what scalar quantity. But see, if we want the displacement from A to B, which direction from A to B? So, when you say 5 centimeter, we don't know it is started from, uh, it will start from A or it will start from B. From any direction it can start. But when we give this arrow mark, no, what does it mean? It will start at the point A and it will go up to b so direction also comes 
generally a vector is denoted like this a b bar this particular vector no a b bar or in place of suppose 5 centimeter if you write a the magnitude is a then this is also can be written like this a bar okay a bar so what is a b bar is the vector quantity from what a to b and what is uh, in uh, magnitude also you can write a bar so now if we take the magnitude a b bar so it will be how much a b or you can write like this also modulus a bar equals to how much a so whenever you take magnitude no this will become scalar quantity so this is vector uh, this is what scalar so is it clear this is very simple so vector means direction as well as magnitude and scalar means only magnitude so here it is written what i have been talking thus we may also define a vector as follows like a directed line segment see this one we are talking about this line a directed line segment is a vector so whenever i write suppose p and q this directed line segment is vector because it has both magnitude as well as what direction its length okay so length means from p to q what is the distance so we are talking about pq bar or you can write simply pq so this pq is about magnitude and whenever we talk about the direction means it will start from p and it will go up to q then direction also comes okay so this is the direction of the vector now let us know some different types of vectors like zero or null vector so what does it mean zero or null vector suppose mm, you are starting from this particular point and after some time you are coming back to the same point you so see you you have some direction right you have some direction but starting point and ending point is same so this is like this a a bar from starting point is a ending point is a so what is the magnitude zero okay so a vector whose length or magnitude is zero then that particular vector is what is null or zero vector so generally this is denoted by what zero bar in some book you will see that bar is uh, not written so simply a big zero type of like this okay so it's better if you use this symbol okay arrow symbol to represent any vector so clearly a null vector has no direction so here we will not talk about the direction because the magnitude is zero right but the thing is like this starting point and ending point is same or if you take some line segment whose distance is nothing so then this is also a null vector you are taking some uh, acceleration so if at the acceleration is zero then that is also a null vector clearly a null vector has no direction and we are talking about this thing thus a equals to how much a b is a null vector if and only if c is how much magnitude is zero a is zero then comes unit vector this is very important so if the magnitude is unity means one suppose a vector is given this is one vector suppose a bar okay a bar is a vector a bar means a b bar this is a vector so if its magnitude is 1 means modulus a bar is equal to 1 if its magnitude is unity then this particular vector is called what unit vector how to denote the unit vector with cap it's not bar like this a cap what is the formula vector divided by its magnitude this is how we find the unit vector so kindly remember this formula so if you write in terms of a b bar then it will be what a b cap is better right like this it looks good a cap small a cap equals to a bar divided by what modulus a bar so small a bar means modulus a bar and divided by its magnitude so vector divided by its magnitude is always what unit vector now co initial vector so before we start we'll understand suppose this is a vector okay a b bar if the direction is like this so we know which is the starting point a is the starting point this is called initial point okay this point is initial point now if b is the starting point then arrow will be in 
other direction, okay, reverse direction, then B will be the initial point. Suppose there are some vectors, okay, there are some vectors like A, B, B, C, and A, D. You see what is the common here? Starting point is same. So, A, B, A, C, A, D. So, starting point is same, B, C, and D. So, suppose there are some vectors where all the initial points are same, common. So these vectors together are called what? Co-initial vectors. So these terms are very important. When you do some examples in our later lectures, then this, this type of things will come. Now let us take some more example, sorry, more definition, like coplanar vectors. Vectors are said to be coplanar if they are parallel to same plane or they lie in the same plane. Suppose we consider a plane, and this is one plane, suppose. This is one plane. So, if we choose some vectors, na, right? Suppose A bar. This vector is parallel to this particular plane. Suppose B bar. Okay, B bar. This is also parallel to the same vector. So, if A bar and B bar both are parallel to this particular plane, no? Then we say that A bar and B bar are coplanar. Or we can write like this also. Suppose this is the plane. On the same vector, you find some vector A bar, B bar. C bar, okay. So they are, they may be in different direction, no problem. Okay, they may be in different different direction. But see, all the vector line one plane, right? If all the vector line one plane, then also we say that the vectors are what coplanar. Okay. So difference between co-initial, co-initial means vectors where the starting point is same, and coplanar vectors where the vectors are either parallel to a plane or they will lie in the plane. Then comes uh, negative of a vector. So this is also very simple. You see, suppose a b bar is a vector. Okay, a b bar is a vector. So this is the vector a b bar. It's, I'm talking about the magnitude. So the vector is what a b bar. Now if I write, or let it be suppose small a bar. If you write b a bar, that means what we are reversing the initial and terminal point, this A point is called initial point and the final point is called terminal point. So if we reverse the direction, then what will happen? So it will be minus A B bar, negative of the vector. Okay, so if A bar is one vector, if A bar is one vector, then its negative vector is minus A bar. Okay, minus A bar. Okay. So a vector whose magnitude is same, magnitude will be same, okay? So if we see, simple, what is the length from A to B? If it is A small A, what is the length from B to A? We cannot say minus A, length is always positive. Direction is negative, okay? If we write A B bar, then the direction is from A to B. If we write B A bar, then it will be reversed. The direction is reversed. For, since the direction is reversed, that's why negative signs come, okay? So, if AB is one vector, if AB bar is one vector, then its negative vector is BA bar or minus A bar. And then, uh, equal vectors. So, this is again important. Suppose two vectors are given. Um, one is A bar, another one is B bar. Two different vectors are, two vectors are there. If you write A bar equals to B bar, so what initially come, comes to our mind? Equal means their magnitude must be same. Okay, they are of what? What is written? They are of same length, means magnitude same. They are same, they have same or parallel support. Means, suppose if this is A bar and suppose this is B bar, so either they will be same support means, suppose this is the, they are parallel to similar kind of vector, or C bar. A bar is parallel to C bar or B bar is parallel to C bar. Or you can say that A bar and B bar lie in one plane. Okay, one plane. Same sense, direction also same. If, uh, means, see, if it is from A to B, then the second vector, this is A bar and this is B bar. Then its direction is also same. So indirectly, what does it mean? Same sense means what? Parallel. Parallel and same direction. So, two vectors will be equal if they have same length, same support, parallel support, 
that's why I said no parallel so parallel support and same direction then we will say that the vectors are what two vectors are equal okay so in this particular introduction lecture what we got what is scalar quantity vector quantity and some types of different vectors okay so in our next lecture we will learn what is component of vector and some other things so to get all the uh, upcoming lectures kindly subscribe the channel and share with your friends so that other also can get the same benefit thank you uh, for watching